Hey, what is going on, fan clan? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom. Hope you guys are all doing well. Happy Thursday. We are one day ahead of Fusion Strike, the newest Pokemon card set. Booster box prices are already falling quite a bit. You can find them right now for about 115, 120, depending on how hard you look, which is absolutely crazy because we've kind of hit this point in Pokemon where we expect to pay MSRP or at least really close to MSRP, if not a considerable, considerable amount more than MSRP. You think back with uh, Celebration for example, where we were struggling to find anything anywhere near MSRP when product first came out, but we have hit this sudden just giant surplus of product that has just been dumped upon LGSs and hobby stores all across the states, at least um, where we are talking here specifically in North America. I'm not sure how things are over in the UK or anywhere abroad, but at least here in, in uh, North America, it seems like things are starting to get much, much better for at least the time being. There's Evolving Skies Wave 2, there's Chilling Rain Wave 2, there's Battle Styles Wave 3. We are getting Wave 2 and Wave 3 of a lot of different Celebrations products, and it seems like a lot of this whole Wave program, the fact that all of this product is being done kind of at the same time is really helping out with a lot of people who are desperately struggling to find product at a reasonable cost. So on one hand, things are really, really good. On the other hand, it is causing a lot of pricing to fall and to crash, which is having a lot of people kind of worried. Is the bubble bursting? What's going on here? In the last video, we went over chilling rain singles to see how the reprint was kind of impacting that. Today, in this video, we're going to go over evolving skies singles. Things are a little bit different when you look at evolving skies singles, but it's definitely something that I think we want to pay close attention to. You as collectors probably want to pay close attention to in the upcoming weeks as booster boxes continue to sell right around 120 125 you can find them for a little bit lower if you look hard enough which is absolutely crazy because you were looking at 180 185 just a few weeks ago absolutely insane but before we jump into that i do want to remind everybody that we are smack dab in the middle of our eight weeks of celebrations giveaway so if you would like to win this brand new collector's chest this is not new this one's open but there will be a brand new collector's chest 25th anniversary for celebrations that i am going to be giving away right here on this channel all you have to do to enter is go back to the video that was posted last week friday where i talk about lee and hart and me partnering up for the nami campaign that is going on right now go back to that video watch it after you watch this one obviously don't just stop watching this one to go watch that one but all you have to do is leave a comment and leave a like and make sure you're subscribed so if you're not currently subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button down below we are officially marching all the way to 100,000 subscribers we got to get there in the next year i'm counting on you guys to help me get there so thank you so much for all of your support uh like i said just go back to that video like comment and subscribe and you will be entered to win we're going to pick that winner tomorrow and then we're going to move right into week number six it's moving right along right along um but yeah, with that being said, let's kind of jump into things right away here because I do have everything together uh, going over what we've looked at in the past, kind of when Evolving Skies first came out. And I looked at where I pulled this pricing from, and this pricing came from September 14th was when we pulled the initial Troll and Toad pricing and TCG player pricing. You can see we have pre-order pricing right here. We have... 15 specific products and why I did that was because I really wanted to focus on the alternate arts uh, that were in this set because those were the cards that were selling for the most. When you talk about Evolving Skies, this was a set like we have not seen in Pokemon when it comes to a main series set. There have been popular sets in the past. Chilling Rain definitely had some popularity behind it. Vivid Voltage, obviously, with kind of that weird print run that they had where it was a little bit short printed, it seemed, um, and there was a lot of people who were excited about Amazing Rares and that Rainbow Rare Pikachu, uh, but outside of that it seems like Evolving Skies is kind of the most popular main series set that we have seen in a very, very long time, at least in any time that I can remember. And if you look at some of these numbers that we're going to look at in just a second here, you're going to see why, and you probably will agree with me on what I'm saying. But we looked over all the alternate arts, and Evolving Skies, while the pull rates were fairly decent, the pull rates were actually the highest we have ever seen in a, a main series set where you were pulling almost eight ultra rares per box. Uh, a lot of people were getting upset and frustrated, not only with the quality control, but with the ultra alternate arts and the harder to find cards, the pull rates for those. We've talked about this in previous videos, but if you go back and you look at Roaring Skies openings, Ancient Origin openings, if you go back and you've been in the game for a while, you're going to get any, anywhere between five and six hits per box. But there was a significant and substantial amount less Ultra Rares in those sets than what you see in a Chilling Rain or in an Evolving Skies. And when that happens and they don't buff up those pull rates a little bit to make you get two or three full arts in a box, 
those singles seem impossible to pull, which makes these prices uh, a little bit ludicrous if you think about it. Uh, so we're going to go over things just in order here. I've got the Troll and Toad data here, the TCG player data here on where pricing is currently falling. falling. And then the, the decreases or increases in a lot of different cases. And this is why this is kind of a set that we haven't seen in a while. TCG player is kind of keeping up with the market. Troll and Toad was actually sold out on a lot of these different items. A lot of storefronts were having problems keeping singles and socks in stock because so many people were interested in the set. So if you look at the Rayquaza VMAX, um, that that alternate art that a lot of people, probably the most popular card of the set, it was originally pre-ordering for about 550. People thought, okay, this is going to drop like crazy in a few weeks. It did drop to about 250 on TCG Player not too long after release. It's actually uh, kind of held its own fairly well. You're looking at only a 5% decrease on Troll and Toad. They're selling it right now for about 360 and I think that's a secondary market uh, storefront that sells on Troll and Toad not necessarily Troll and Toad itself, but even on TCG Player, 209.99 is the lowest listing right now for a near mint copy. That's only a 16% decrease. When you're talking about cards that have come out, when you're looking at decreases, you're expecting to see 40, 50, 60 uh, percent decreases. Uh, Evolving Skies came out in August, so it came out two months ago. We would expect, or almost three months ago now, we would expect prices to kind of drop a little bit more. But since demand has remained really high for this and supply just hasn't been there, uh, the decrease that we've seen is is not significant by any means and you're only looking at 16 percent on that rayquaza umbreon also a very very popular card in the set a lot of these cards have held really really good legs where you still have three cards that are pricing over a hundred dollars and many cards that are pricing well above fifty dollars after that the alternate art v max which was pre-ordering for 450 is down to 289.95 on troll and toad that's not, that's i mean that's level with what they were selling it at right after release and it's dropped down to 181 on TCG player. That's only a 17% drop. So again, not even 20%, very, very small. Now you start getting some much smaller numbers like the Sylveon VMAX alternate art, which seems to be a fan favorite, uh, much more popular than it was uh, on initial release. It was pre-ordering for 400. It dropped down to 150 right after release and 111 on TCG player. It's actually jumped up on Troll and Toad up to about 170. And on TCG player, it's holding steady at 105. Uh, so that's only a 5.5% decrease, not too much at all. Well, the alternate art Rayquaza V, uh, 300 for the pre-order price, dropped down to 165 and 93 uh, respectfully. It's at 133.99, which is a decent size drop, but not huge by any means. 19% it's dropped on Troll and Toad, $86 on TCG Player, only an 8% drop. So when you see those single digit percentage drops, uh, that, that really shows the legs of a set. When I was managing movie theaters back in the day, I would always judge a movie based on how the percentage drop was after its initial release. So when you started predicting and forecasting what auditoriums to put movies in, you would start thinking, okay, well, what percentage drop is this going to have? Is it going to be like a horror movie where you've got 70, 85% of a drop from opening weekend to the second weekend? Because a lot of people want to see those horror movies opening weekend and don't care as much during the second weekend. Or is it going to be more like a Pixar movie and a Disney movie, which drops 20, 25% maybe one weekend to the next. And it really helps you kind of gauge how a set's going to be much like what I used to do with uh, movies. Uh, Glacian V, the alternate art, $100 currently on Troll and Toad. That was sold out, but that's actually a 5% increase from where it was right after release. Uh, TCG player is selling for 53 only a 13% drop uh, from what it was selling after release, which is not too bad at all. And then you've got Espeon V, the alternate art, dropping even less than that. 13% on Troll and Toad. It's fallen down to a $100 card. That one was out of stock on Troll and Toad as well. But on TCG player, it's $50. It dropped down to 5% or 5% just over 5%. It did have a fairly substantial drop on uh, after release. It was pre-ordering for about $200, and then right after release, it dropped all the way down to $53, which was a 74% drop. It's only dropped another 5% after that, so it seems like those legs are holding on fairly strong, and that's kind of where that card is settling. The alternate art Umbreon V, which was pre-ordering for $200, has dropped down to $140 on Troll and Toad. It's only a 6% drop. It's actually gained ground on TCG Player. It's almost increased 11% which is a very strong increase uh, from 71.19 all the way up to 78.99. When you look at the alternate art Leafy on VMAX, that was actually the first alternate art that I pulled on uh, from Evolving Skies. I believe I actually recorded a video uh, on this channel with that pull. 
Uh, but it was pre-ordering for 200 also it dropped down to 125 on trolling toad which is actually an increase of four percent from where it was originally right after release it dropped 16 percent on tcg player down to about 75 dollars glacian vmax 125 on trolling toad which is a four percent increase it dropped almost 13 percent on tcg player down to 83.99 still a very very pricey card um, compared to a lot of other sets when you start looking at evolving skies and comparing it to other sets it's pretty crazy how uh, how substanti substantially higher some of these singles are uh, granted they are alternate arts which is obviously a different rarity and outside of chilling rain there's not really any sets that have this many alternate arts in it you have to start looking at cards that have or sets that have unique pull rates like uh, a hidden fates or a shining fates uh, that might have different unique mentalities to it uh, umbreon vmax this is just a rainbow rare has increased 15 percent on troll and toad up to 60 dollars from 52 where it was right after opening week granted this did have a huge huge decrease over 70 percent right after release $34 currently on TCG Player, which is another 19% drop. So a fairly common drop that we've seen at least on Umbreon VMAX. When you're looking at Duraladon VMAX, same thing. Fairly decent drops. This card has actually hit really, really hard. It's dropped an additional 30% on Troll and Toad. You figure this was a $175 pre-order card. 77% on TCG Player initially, and now it's dropped another 37% after that, down to $25. Then you look at Dragonite V, which is kind of an outlier and a very, very interesting card in the set because it started out pre-order pricing was fairly good at 150 very very strong card but it dropped like a rock right after release it dropped 66 percent on troll and toad all the way down to 50 dollars you could pre-order it or you could order it right after opening weekend on troll and toad and i think the pull rates for dragonite v actually seemed a little bit higher um than some of the other cards so it, it dropped very hard now it's increased all the way up to 104.93 which is a hundred and nine percent increase uh, on troll and toad uh, if you're looking at TCG Player, it dropped set down to $74, uh, and now it's actually gained a little bit of ground, up three and a quarter percent, three point three eight percent, up to $76.49. Another card, other card kind of like that, which isn't on here, but Noivern V was all the way down to a, a $20 card at one point in time, the alternate art. It's jumped back up. It's not at anything significant, but it's over $30 now, which is very, very interesting. The Rainbow Rare Rayquaza VMAX, um, kind of holding steady, $94.98 on Troll and Toad. It's gained 5%. It's dropped 17% on TCG Player, down to $42.99. And these last two cards have actually held on really strong. The Sylveon V alternate art is currently selling for $100 on Troll and Toad. 57.99 on tcg player so it's stayed the course on tcg player it hasn't dropped anything it's actually gained a couple of pennies uh but the sylveon v on troll and toad has actually gained almost 22 percent whereas the leafeon v the alternate art 78.96 on troll and toad it's dropped one percent from 79.99 now on tcg player it was 61.27 and then a shot up to 67.48 10 when people start looking at these numbers, they start thinking, oh my goodness, I want to be able to pull some of these cards, look at these prices. All I have to do is open up uh, a booster box and I can pull a Rayquaza VMAX alternate art or an Umbreon VMAX alternate art or a Sylveon VMAX alternate art. And that's where you start getting into the dangers of, hey, I can open up products to plus. And that's definitely not something I would ever recommend to ever anybody. Uh, when it comes to after opening weekend of a set, I never recommend opening boxes to try and uh, hit margins or anything like that. You're going to lose money. It's a lot of fun to open up boxes. That's why people do it. It's a lot of fun to add pieces to your collection. It's something that you should enjoy, but you should go into it expecting to lose money. But a lot of people look at that and then they look at the booster box price. Right now, with the new print that we've just had it is crazy because booster boxes are selling lower than what they were when they were pre-ordering originally or when they were selling kind of opening weekend they were selling for you know 135 140 right around msrp now you can go down and you can find them for 122.85 on tcg players the cheapest one 118.88 on ebay that was the cheapest one that i found i didn't look very hard you might be able to find it for cheaper than that but i would say anywhere between 115 to 125 is going to be kind of your comfort zone for evolving skies at least for a couple weeks once that stuff gets bought up, you're still going to have a Wave 3. It's going to be about the same size as what we saw for Wave 2. We have no idea when that's going to come. Uh, it could be a little bit delayed. We were originally expecting sometime in November. Obviously, we're just getting Wave 2 right now, so that's not going to happen. Uh, but probably in the new year, you might see some booster box pricing remaining fairly steady, which is going to make a lot of people very ha happy. But you might see this go up a little bit over the next several weeks as we inch closer to Christmas. 
So if you're somebody in the market looking for booster boxes of Evolving Skies, now is definitely the time that you're going to want to buy some of them up because they are at what I think is going to be their cheapest for quite some time. It seems we're going to talk about this hopefully on Sunday, uh, kind of the dark side of distribution and working with a distributor, but it seems a lot of storefronts got overwhelmed with product when everything came out at the same time. We knew Chilling Rain Wave 2 was coming. We knew Evolving Skies Wave 2 was coming, but what we didn't know is that it was going to be smack dab combined with a lot of Wave 2 and Wave 3 of Celebrations product and uh, opening wave of Fusion Strike. And a lot of people, a lot of LGSs, have to commit to allocations. Otherwise, they're just not going to get product. They're not going to get enough product. So things are kind of starting to shift, which is going to make a lot of collectors happy, a lot of people who are upset about pricing happy, and it's going to make a lot of LGSs very, very nervous about cash flow issues and cash flow things and things like that. So that's something that we're going to pay a little bit more attention to on Sunday, uh, but I'm trying to keep things light and just kind of go over some of the statistics here during the week, and then we'll kind of hit things hard on Sunday with, uh, a little bit more of a deeper video. So I hope that's okay. Guys, I hope you really enjoy the information. It's a lot of fun talking about it. It's a lot of fun getting your thoughts. Leave a comment down below for the algorithm. Let me know what you think, um, where you think some of these singles are going to uh, fall, what cards you're looking for to complete your master study of Evolving Skies. Leave a like. It goes a long way for the algorithm. Leave a share. Uh, to help us grow the fan clan up to 100,000 subscribers. Most importantly, make sure you yourself are subscribed. If that box down below is red with the white lettering of subscribe, you haven't done your part yet. So hit that button. Give me a subscribe. I really appreciate it, guys. Actually, I mean, I just appreciate you guys. So no matter what. So thank you very much for watching. Give me the time. Uh, thanks for everything. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.